Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today to check this out. The Mansori and Philip Pline Star Trooper Pickup. This is now the third collaboration between Mansori and Philip Pline, an AMG G63 which has been converted into a pickup truck. They are only going to be making seven of these. It was due to be released at the Geneva Motor Show but we're here at Mansori's HQ surrounded by a little bit of snow. It is very cold but this I guess is the right car to enjoy today. So let's take a look then at everything about this car, all of the modifications that have been made and believe me it is pretty crazy. It also happens to have about 850 horsepower. Then we'll get it fired up and take it out for a short little drive to experience what this is like. The Star Trooper pickup, let's check it out. Let's have a look at this then, the Mansori and Philip Pline Star Trooper pickup. Just take in the car that is currently in front of us. There have been numerous changes made to what you can see on the outside, on the inside, the engine, and of course the fact that this is an AMG G63 converted into a pickup truck. This is now the third collaboration between Mansori and Philip Pline. Back in 2011 they made a G55, then last year they launched the Star Trooper based on the new generation G63 which actually came out here to their HQ to drive myself and now we have this the pickup truck conversion on the new generation G63 a flatbed for loading back there but also raised up an additional six centimeters the engine completely reworked new turbos downpipe exhaust making 850 horsepower and of course the way it's presented the carbon fiber bodywork the paintwork and so many small details that I'm going to run you through quickly let's come straight though to open this up and wait until you see even back here a footstep loads down from the bottom but the flatbed itself has this camouflage carbon fiber throughout the back that's what you're going to find everywhere you look on here this paint scheme is called the 50 shades of gray by philip pline and it all ties in so well just look at this look at how they've done that inside the weave on the carbon fiber this is insane in fact all the details of this ludicrous thing are insane just to take in and behold because well, they've converted it into a strict two-seater, but you've got these benches almost in the back if you want to kind of hop up here in the back and come along for the ride, which is moderately crazy. So let's just close that up, where normally you would have, obviously, the rear compartment of the G63. It is sitting on gigantic 24-inch wheels housed inside the carbon fibre fenders all around. The Mansouri exhaust system we're going to be hearing plenty of in just a moment. Coming back round towards the front, look at the anger of this. You've got the illuminated Philip Pline logos all around here on the front, the Star Trooper logo in the grille, even here additional cooling in towards the engine, the front bumper wider, lower, red LED running lights against the different greys of the carbon fibre all around and this is before we have even seen the interior of it. Just check this out as well, side steps open up, completely retrimmed, reworked from top to bottom. A new steering wheel with the grips, the carbon fibre, the trims on the inside, the leathers, the alcantaras, the materials, again the carbon fibre trim, the floor mats, the side steps, everything about this is just mega. So let's take a step inside then, as you can see, almost brand new car. Let us uh, wake it up quickly, power, ignition, and then take a listen to the exhaust just down here. <laughs> Sounds good, sounds very, very, very good. So I think this is going to be a little bit crazy. Look at the seats, look at the design of these seats. Wowzers, I've never seen anything like it. And then the flatbed behind us, the starlight headliner as well, with all of these additional ornament pieces all around it. This is just, this is just insane, this car. Wow, absolutely wow. Okay, okay, get a little feel for this. Of course, we can pop it down into the different driving modes into, say, Sport Plus, open the exhaust valves. Oh, that's 2,000 RPM. Listen. Okay, this sounds, this sounds crazy. All of these parts also anodized black, the speaker grill, that's changed from the standard. Everything just a little bit different, a little bit crazy and it is burbling, burbling away. Okay, let's just open up the engine bay quickly, which is down there, because this power plant has been taken up with new turbos, with all of the changes, from 585 horsepower up to 850. 
and from 850 newton meters of torque to 1,000 newton meters. That means this thing, G63, does the zero to 100 kilometer per hour sprint, 62 miles per hour, and get this, three and a half seconds. Three and a half seconds, and then onto a top speed of 250 kilometers an hour, 155 miles per hour. That makes no sense for this kind of car. And then even in here, you might have noticed, obviously the whole bonnet is carbon fiber on the underside, even the engine bay cover has the Philip Blind logo and the camouflage carbon fiber to finish it off. That is what we're looking at here. I, I'm a little bit speechless, kind of lost for words about it all. Let's just close that back down, pretty tall. Thanks to the car being raised up, that additional 60 millimeters with the suspension, obviously housing those gigantic wheels. Absolutely massive. But this is, this is a pickup G-Wagon. This is literally a pickup G-Wagon. Okay, um, okay, okay, okay. I think I'm gonna step on board. I think it's gonna be time to take this for a little drive to uh, experience it. Oh, not the uh, fog light as I stepped in. So, let's do this then. Let's go do just a couple of kilometers to see what it's about. When it comes to making a bespoke interior, Mansori are pretty much the kings of this. We've got the red LED lighting as well. The seat belts even have the Philip Pline text on them as well. So let's go for a very, very short little drive. Like I said, this is basically a brand new car that they have very kindly allowed me to take for just a short little feel of what it's like. So into gear, and of course I have a G63 at home, although a normal G63, a completely kind of regular package as opposed to this. Although it does have an Akrapovich exhaust and a small tune as well, but this is a completely different cup of tea. This is not the same car at all. Um, I do feel and notice that I am sitting just a touch taller as well driving in here as we will cruise on out, go for a, a small run around the block in the new Star Trooper pickup. This is, well, it's one of only seven that are being made. This is car number one, the original Geneva show car, of course, that unfortunately didn't make it to Geneva thanks to the show itself being cancelled. You can feel the grunt, the grumble, the noise, the power of the thing, and we're barely even moving. I'm just very conscious and aware of what 850 horsepower means, but also quite how quick this would be if putting the foot down and actually going for it. For the time being, we will take it easy, just head towards a slightly twistier countryside road for a second. But yes, this feels unusual. I'm also very aware of the unusual view behind me, which you can probably see too, but having the glass right behind creates a great mounting spot for the camera to be able to see forward and gives me a particularly unusual view when I look over my shoulder. That is not what you expect to see when you are driving in a G63. Now this is comfort mode. Let's pop it back through the different modes into sport, into sport plus. Oh wow, it drops some gears. <laughs> this is already a little bit kind of silly loud. We're just going under the speed limit. Okay. These people are like, what are you driving? Um, yes, this stands out a lot, but this is this is what Mansori do. You don't necessarily have to like it, but they make the most exclusive vehicles. And working on this with Philip Line makes this whole package just into something that I don't think anybody else would ever make. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, let's drop some gears. <laughs> and then out of the town, foot down a little bit. <laughs> I mean, this thing, you can see it being at home out across the snow, across the sand, perhaps not on perfectly smooth tarmac, despite quite how quickly it can drive. <laughs> it just feels really, really cool, which is what this is supposed to do. This is mad. This is absolutely mad that Mansori have made this car. Totally, totally, completely kind of blowing my mind as to what I'm actually driving right now. Every time out here, driving some of the craziest creations that Mansori are responsible for, you would just never expect that a car like this could drive as well as this actually does. This is not logical. And it sounds like you're going Mach 10 purely because of how loud it is, despite the fact that you can be taking it relatively easy. At least easy compared to, let's say, if you were in a supercar or a sports car. <laughs> this is mega. This is absolutely mega. The sound is 
is so crazy, and the turbo blow off as well. Listen to that. <laughs> Noises. Okay, I mean this is this is the G-Wagon just having fun with it and you can see that this is gonna work. This is so crazy. What? Just what am I driving? Listen to that. And then of course you can kind of go a little bit more docile. Let's go into comfort mode. Make it a bit quieter. Take it a little bit easy. Just gentle cruise. Yeah. <laughs> All meanwhile, of course, it's a little bit lighter than the full-size G because it's lost the whole roof section going towards the back. But they've completely bespokely made and manufactured this. I'm gonna pop it back into a sport class for the countryside stretch again. Good times, good times, right, let's head on back. I think that's about as much driving as I'm able to do. Brand new car after all. I'm back at base, but of course we do now have a warmed up engine. So let's take a proper listen to this, open up the doors very quickly. I need to pop it back into Sport Plus mode. So go through that into Sport Plus. It raises the revs while you do so as well. And listen to this. Okay, it's a little bit silly. It is just a little bit silly. Uh, back into comfort, make things significantly quieter again. I love this steering wheel, really, really nice. The carbon top, 12 o'clock marker, flat bottom, Mansouri, the grips as well. The interior of this is just a different world, a different world of awesome. Just turn it off. New carbon fiber shift paddles on the back as well. And then one thing that I massively, massively like about this, look at the doors soft close on a g-wagon and then the steps go in as well this is just how cool is that i don't know why yeah it just that that makes sense that just makes sense there are loads of crazy aero bits fitted here of course things like this behind the arches same up at the front that just give it that aggressive look that menacing look and then finished with this specific paintwork over the entire car completely flat lacquered over the top it's not kind of a vinyl wrap or something like that and then around the front look at all of the kind of spaceship looks the star trooper hey as it's named you've even got red leds back here on the side steps i mean this the car speaks for itself right look at this thing just look at it all around spare wheel still mounted back here inside the philip pline cover as well the big 3d logo at the back and sorry, P800 performance, 850 horsepower, remember from this. Even new carbon fiber surrounds on the tail lights there too. Even the number plate backing is the carbon. Look at this, look at the way it's kind of got the light and dark with the straight split down the middle. That fold out step underneath. Everything Mansuri do is just crazy, but very refined. It all, the quality is all really, really good. Everything fits properly. And then they've obviously taken away the entirety of this back section. Obviously you'd normally have rear doors here, back seats, and some luggage space. In the case of this, you've got a pickup bed at the very back. I mean, this is this is it, what do you think? The Mansouri and Philip Line Star Trooper pickup here. Uh, first, a big thanks to Mansouri for the opportunity to have an exclusive look at this. I am, uh, I fairly enjoyed that, even if it was a short little drive. And I've also, just, just to point this out, the wheels are painted the same. The wheels on this side of the car have that same camo paintwork on them. <laughs> and sorry, down there too. 24 inch wheels. Uh, yeah, yeah. What a car. Anyway, that is it for now. Thank you very much for watching as always, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I certainly have, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.